the uh, Olus SM45 with the cryogenic flask, and Rich, our engineer, is going to show us how to access the cryogenic system. Yes. And <laughs> turn things or move things around. So what are we doing, Rich? So in order to take the um, vacuum shroud off to get to the sample holder, you would need to turn off the lamp, remove this tube. It's just telescoped away. You didn't do yes. anything. You just telescoped no, just, it away. And then there's a small tube on this side. You slide it off of the nose piece. And you and pushed it towards the sample Towards the cryostatic cell. Okay. And then you remove this clamp and then the... You know, um, what clamp are we talking about? This clamp. You just rotate right, it. Right, you rotate it and this clamp comes off. Okay. And then the um, vacuum shroud comes off as described in the Janus manual. Okay. To, to put it back, you put the clamp, set it down, put the clamp back on loosely align the chamber so that it lines up with the tubes. Okay. And then slide your tube back on here. Wait a minute, okay. And then your lamp tube here. And you just tighten the screw here. There's a thumb screw on the side here. Okay, so when you say rotate this. Yes. How much because play th is when, there? When you set it down on the flange without these tubes here, it can uh -huh. be rotated. 360. Wherever, yeah, wherever it can spin to. So you you turn it to this tube lines up with this port. Right. Yep. So you would line this up so this evenly goes on here. Mm hmm And then you tighten the clamp up. In order to secure it square again. And that secures it square. Okay. And then you have the option of putting in a one inch diameter filter for your excitation. If you want to refine the measurement right. light, which is currently coming from this 35 watt Xenar clamp. Yes. Okay. And then we have a blank shutter go in this slit holder and when pushed all the way in, we'll block the beam until you're ready to take a measurement. Right. So this is either in out of the way and then right. all of the lights traveling through or it is in place and it's you want to do that for me blocking all of the light yeah. from reaching the sample so you're not photolyzing the sample when you're not making a measurement correct and raising the temperature of it and raising the temperature of the so sample. you just need to pull it out a centimeter or so and the to light will dislodge pass. it right so you don't need to remove it all the way out as we've been no, doing just just move it out a little bit light passes push it in you're blocking and it'll be pretty obvious on the software side yes and we also have if you want to diminish the light a little bit you can put this one in, and it will let light pass. And what's the, oh, that's a uh, 3.16 millimeter slit. slit. And that'll block some of the light, probably around half. Okay. And then you can pull it out again to use it as a shutter. Right. To then prevent any light from reaching Correct. the sample. And as you say, caution hot. My hand just touched this lamp housing. <laughs> it's and warm, but it doesn't, yes. It is yeah, warm. It, it's warm. So just be aware of that. And of course that heat travels through this tube to the sample compartment and you might occasionally need to protect your sample from it depending yes. on how photo, how heat sensitive it is. Now there's just while we're looking Rich, there's another, mm -hmm. just like there's a chamber top here, there's one over here. What is that one for? This one's to cut out second order light since it's a single grading monochromator. So would you mind just taking? Yes. So thumb screws again. Thumb screws again. A filter fits in here, one inch optical filter fits in here. So if you were um, refining the light in some way, the scanning, scanning where you could have second order light, then you can put this and cut off the high end. Right, and this of course is your photon and counter. That's a photon your counter. Okay, and this is the control box. Now, this is your xenon lamp power supply. Okay, and then this is the control box. Okay. And Controls the photon counter and the movement of the monochromator. Great. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah.